welcome to 12 easy morning habits to change your life. So contrary to popular belief, I was not always a morning person. I wasn't a night person either. I would want to sleep around 10 or 11 and then I would want to wake up around 8 o'clock. Now I'm someone who likes to sleep around 9 or 10 and then I love waking up earlier. So here are some little habits that can help you wake up earlier. Number one, try your best to wake up at the same time every single day. Now if you're thinking, girl, you don't know my life. I can't wake up at the same time every single day. I feel you, but this is backed by the sleep foundation that we are going to feel less tired when we get into a routine. But if you can't stick to a consistent routine, just try your best. I have my alarm set Monday through Friday, same time, but I find that my body naturally will wake up because my body clock is already used to it. I do give myself Saturdays and Sundays to kind of just wake up when I want to so that I know, okay, on the weekend, we're just kind of like off. But I still wake up around the same time because my circadian rhythm and my body clock is just so used to it. Now, not only is my body clock waking me up when I'm supposed to, but I am also having bowel movement at the same time every day. Okay, this might be TMI, but everybody knows that everybody goes. So even when I was in Japan, I would have to go at the same time that it is in the US. So that was 11 p.m. in Japan. It was not convenient, but my body clock was on it. And that is truly such a blessing because there are no surprises. You just know what time you're gonna go. <laughs> And I will say taking probiotics at the same time every day and just kind of having a set schedule for yourself in terms of what time you're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the last meal of the day, all of that plays into account when it comes to your body clock and circadian rhythm. But there are a lot of things in our lives that are outside of our control. So if you feel like you can't eat at the same time every day, on the days that you can control it, I want you to try. The downside is that that really affects me when I travel abroad because my habits are so set. But if you're not traveling, this is literally one of the perfect ways to regulate your body. Number two, when you wake up in the morning, practice smiling. Now, I know many of us wake up like this. Try to smile. And remember that, you know, we get to do things today. There's some people who wish they could be doing the things that we're doing. So wake up and give yourself a smile. Number three, wake up and give yourself at least 30 minutes before you need to go somewhere. Now, if you are a parent or you have a child or a dog, that kind of needs to be pushed to about 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But if you are just taking care of yourself, 30 minutes should suffice. But waking up literally 10 minutes before you need to head out the door, that does not give you enough time to, to even get your probiotic, to make a smoothie, to go to the bathroom. You literally are just rushing. So you want to wake up and give yourself some time and not be in such a stressful state first thing in the morning. My husband does wake up 10 minutes before he needs to be somewhere, so we're working on it. Thankfully, he watches my videos. Number four, open your blinds and your windows and try to see some direct sunlight to really jumpstart your body clock. Number five, schedule your day and have a reason to wake up early in the morning. If you're waking up to something that you know you want to ditch or you don't really care about, you're not going to wake up. It needs to be something that you truly value, that you think is important. For example, you're not going to miss your flight. You're going to wake up to go to your flight. You're not going to miss a workout class that's going to charge you $15 for not showing up. You're going to go and wake up. You're gonna wake up for your job because you might get fired. So it's because these things have value and it's at a high stakes that you're willing to make that effort. So make sure that the reason why you're wanting to wake up is something of that degree. Working out early for a group fitness class always works for me because one, I already paid for it and they won't give me a refund or give me my class back if I don't show up. And two, I usually work out with my friends so I know that somebody is waiting for me. And three, it's scheduled. Number six, make your bed when you wake up in the morning. Just having that first task done and realizing you're not going to crawl back into bed. You literally just made it. You want it to be neat and clean. Keep it that way. Don't be okay with clutter. Don't be okay with messiness. Make your bed and say, I'm not going to touch that until nighttime. But I'm not going to lie. I think I'm a little neurotic because I really care a lot about cleanliness, tidiness, and just making sure that things only happen at a certain time. And I feel like my bed shouldn't be messy until nighttime. Number seven, kind of in alignment with the habit of making your bed is change out of your PJs immediately. I am someone that does not wear my outside clothes inside my bed, so there is just no way I'd be crawling back into bed if I changed into my outside clothes. 
And this is also creating the habit of a morning routine where you wake up and you change out of your PJs. And once you're in your regular clothes, you know you're not going back to bed and not doing anything. Number eight, I like to get my exercises in in the morning and I feel my best now doing it first thing. But I was not always that way because I used to always work out at night. But then I'd be so pumped and I would have a hard time sleeping and then I would wake up late. But the first couple of workouts that I did early in the morning, I thought, how do people do this? so difficult and I'm so tired but the more you do it the easier it gets but you can't just try it twice and tell me that you can't do it you need to be consistent and you're going to start to see improvement but with any type of workout just make sure that you are moving your body so if you feel like you can't do it in the morning then definitely do it in the evenings because some workout is better than no workout but also make sure you're getting eight hours of sleep because if you're only sleeping like three hours yeah it's hard working out early in the morning with very little sleep I've actually tried this and whenever I run on less than eight hours of sleep, I don't work out very well either because I'm so tired. And make sure you start off your mornings by drinking a lot of water. You wanna get a head start in your water consumption so that by the end of the day, you know you've already hydrated yourself so well. Number nine, fill your day with stimulating events. If you're literally sitting in front of a computer, just sitting, not much is happening. At night, it's gonna be harder for you to sleep. You want to make sure you're doing so many things and there's a lot of external stimuli, kind of like a baby or a dog would be tired out, so that when your head hits the pillow, you just knock out. Like a day at Disneyland or a theme park is exhausting because you're walking, you're listening to things, you're riding rides that are exhilarating and you're eating all this food. It's tired. <laughs> Your body is working and it's being really stimulated. Try not to take a nap so that you get really good sleep at night, but really try to get moving, get active, have your body be active and using all of your senses. Number number 10. Eat fiber and protein rich food. I like to put flax seeds in my protein shakes but that's a way for me to easily get some fiber and also get protein into my body and protein consumption is really great for us. I'll touch on that in my next video. Number 11. Make sure that you are also reading. Reading is a great way to get out of our own mindset and really filling ourselves with some knowledge. So I like to read about five pages a day and that's a habit that works for me and number 12 number 12 make sure you choose to do a chore so that when you're moving and getting active you are also being productive so when it comes to doing chores in the morning i also want to make sure i'm not disturbing other people especially my neighbors but if i can i try to do my chores early in the morning so that i can enjoy the rest of the day knowing that everything is clean because i can assure you that after five o'clock no i do not feel like doing anything but sitting on the couch but i always like to look at our place in terms of the rooms and so today I wanted to clean our living room, which is also the dining room. So I vacuumed, I swiffered, and then I made sure that our placemats were all on the dining table. Choose a chore in one of these categories and get it done. So I hope this helps you guys. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.